After a third political party makes its way to the presidency, the new founding fathers of America propose a radical experiment that will be conducted on Staten Island, where, for 12 hours, all citizens in that area will be able to commit any crime they choose, and are even promoted to do so with a $5,000 incentive. Yes, the prequel to The Purge is the first Purge, which is going to make a lot of people very confused when you try to talk about the movies now. The movie is, strangely enough, still written by James DeMonaco, but now it's directed by Gerard McMurray. DeMonaco's done well with the last three films, but I think he wanted a slightly different perspective on things from this director. It seems like he's been putting himself into films that specifically deal with African American and black issues. So, at least from a societal point of view, it probably was a better idea to include him in this, since this really does take a very racial direction in it. The film also stars a lot of people who I will not name individually, mostly because I cannot actually pronounce some of those names. And if I tried, someone might get upset because I didn't do it correctly. Now, as far as this movie goes, there's a few things that I would like to talk about before I get into the nitty gritty. There's been a number of different people writing reviews for this movie saying that it is awful and terrible. Specifically, they are mostly people who do not normally watch horror movies, people who do not like certain things to an unusual extreme, and are pointing fingers at this as it is a very anti-Trump movie, when really there's only like three instances where you see something that was a direct knock at President Trump. And one of them was the movie poster that teased the movie long ago. Other than that, there's really nothing to do with him. And if you do find something to do with him, you're probably looking too deep into things. Because it was really more about two different groups. The people who wanted to purge, and the people who didn't want to purge. But even that's very diverse. The performances differ in quality, but I enjoy the characters. I will admit that some people didn't put out a great performance, but then again, you look at the his first Purge movie, the one that was... It, when you look at the Purge movie, it didn't exactly have the greatest acting either. So, I really can't complain too much. The dialogue is a mixed bag, with most of the film being just fine, but having some moments where it is clearly force-fed into the script rather than feeling natural. I do like certain points of dialogue that add a comedy relief to the sort of thing, which was actually kind of nice and refreshing, because the films can get very serious, but I like having someone who helps with the levity of the situation, so that you're not just always with your heart pounding and never have a moment to rest. Also, it makes the moments when it actually does get back to that a little more intense. So, yeah, it's a good way of breaking things up a little bit, so I can excuse that, but other lines are kind of cringy. The contact lenses were a fantastic idea that I wanted to see more of. The idea was that because this was the first purge, that people were going to get these contact lenses that have cameras in them, and the contact lenses glow around the iris. Originally, I thought this was kind of ridiculous, but then it was pointed out to me that Google already has contact lenses with cameras in them, and they were made in 2014, so it's not out of the realm of possibilities. Also, I really like the idea of the glowing iris. I liked that before I found out about Google's technology. I mostly like it because it tells you who is participating and gives you kind of an eerie presence about it, almost like people are being influenced by something darker. And I would have loved to see more of that, but not everyone was wearing the contacts. There were drones involved in this one. I don't remember them ever being in any other ones, but I haven't seen Election Year yet, so it's possible they might have been in there, but how they were used in here were in two moments, one at the very beginning to establish they are there, and another point which makes them the worst addition to the movie. I won't say what happens, all I will say is it was a MacGuffin that shouldn't have been there. As far as events that transpire, there's plenty of variety in them, with some people who were criminals before the Purge 
wanting to protect their assets until this all blows over. Other people who are fairly normal individuals who want to commit crime. Others who just want to survive all this and don't want to do anything bad. Others that have more sinister reasons to do things. It's very, very mixed as far as different groups and cliques and that sort of thing. So you get a whole different world evolving out of this one night. And I really like that. You also get the perspective of characters that you wouldn't expect, like the drug dealer who says he doesn't like the idea of the purge. And when you think about it, this guy makes a profit, makes a business off of breaking the law and getting away with it. But if there's no law to break, then one, people can go after him, and two, the protection that he was getting from the law when it was in effect is no longer there. Because he was clearly manipulating the law to his favor, keeping things just below radar, and if anything did go wrong, he probably had a way of getting around that. But now all bets are off. He has no security net other than the one he has specifically bought with his own money. And even then, they might have their own motives against him. The movie focuses more on action and on answers, but it is well done even when the horror is fairly light. As a prequel, it succeeded in showing the origins of different groups, the reason for its introduction, the motives behind the purge, the motives behind the new founding fathers, and presented a starting point that fits in with the rest of the movies. I have to give them credit. There were a lot of answers that were given to questions that have been posed in the past. Some answers were hinted at but never solidified, but now they have been. The politics and social issues that were presented were presented really well. They were fairly direct in most of the cases, so... I think it's maybe going a little too far into pushing the answers out, but overall, I didn't mind it that much, just because there was so much going on, and it was really in-depth into what was happening. All the events that were happening here made sense, with people having parties and causing mischief, but not a lot of people doing really terrible things, but the persons who did really went all the way. So... I really gotta give it credit. It was really well done. And when I saw the initial reviews for this, it either ranged from people giving it a 0 or 1 to people giving it a 9 or a 10. For my own sake, I have to go with the higher range. Only, I'm not going all the way with that. I'm going with an 8.75 out of 10. Which, I've been wanting to stay with the .5 divisions, but I think this is a movie that warrants this .75 division, because I feel that it is better than, uh, what was it, uh, Anarchy. It's better than Purge Anarchy, in my opinion, but not good enough to get that 9 out of 10. So I was kind of grappling with it. Do I give it an 8.5? Do I give it a 9? I just decided, screw it, cut it down the middle, and... We'll leave it there. So, yeah. This is only the first in the Purge movies that I'm going to be reviewing. I'm going to review all of them. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, I've got a very specific impression about the New Founding Fathers. In that, they are a new political party that recently got to power in order to help a nation that was suffering from a great issue that they didn't know how to resolve and a new radical idea that involves removing a vast portion of the populace in order to benefit the chosen people, if you want to use that quote. Sounds an awful lot like Nazism to me. So, yeah. That's my opinion. My opinion. Yours may be different, and if you do have a different perspective on things, share it in the comments section. Let me know what you think. If I got something really wrong, I'm not sure how, because this is my opinion. So... See you in the next one.